Hey guys, welcome to another Proven Helper video. As you know, I share my secrets with you, things that I've learned along the way in my various uh, careers and businesses, and I share these little tips with you. Now this tip comes from my computer background, and it's all about freeing up space on your hard drive. Now, recently, my small 120 gigabyte solid state hard drive was running low on space, and since I didn't have the time to format my drive and reinstall everything, which could be a pain in the ass, especially if you got a big game installation or a program installation that's been customized. And, you know, some of you may know this, but uh, in Grand Theft Auto, part four on the PC, you could add cars, worlds, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and if, actually, if you want to see stuff like that, if you want me to show you how to hack Grand Theft Auto, you know, definitely shoot a comment below. But anyways... So yeah, I wanted to move my Grand Theft Auto installation to another hard drive to free up space on my solid state C drive. So I, I, just, I use something called Symbolic Links. Now, these are basically glorified shortcuts. Now, a typical shortcut uh, on your desktop launches your programs or games from a, by accessing a folder somewhere, right? Well, a Symbolic Link allows you to move a folder to another location and then create a link and that says, hey, whenever you're looking for a program X, you could find it now on a D drive instead. So that's pretty much what it does. It allows you to move folders for programs or whatever to another location. So, you know, you could free up some space on whatever drive you want to free up space on. And generally, this is the C drive that you would want to free up the space on. So... Over here to my right is some uh, basic information about symbolic links. And I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna show you how to create the links. And uh, you know, you could take it from there yourself, right? All right, here we go. So let me show you what you gotta do here. So click on the Windows Orb, okay? And this will work with Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista. Should work with pretty much any version of Windows. So first, you want to use the search bar right here, and we want to search for the command prompt, and it's spelled CMD, and see, this pops up right here. Now, don't click on that yet. You actually have to right-click that, and you want to run that as an administrator. All right, so here we go. Now, the name of the command is called mklink. But let me just go to the... Let me just go to the main directory. So cd backslash. Okay. I'll just clear the screen. All right. So MK link. All right. So what we want to do is move my rockstar directory. Okay. So it's going to be slash D, a directory symbolic link. So let me bring up Windows Explorer. And holy moly, you can see right here. I only have two and a half gigabytes left on my C drive, which is horrible. And right here, this is my new um, SSD drive. And I want to put um, Grand Theft Auto on there. So anyways, if I go to my C drive program files, uh, x86 directory, I will find the Rockstar Games folder. Here it is. I'm going to click properties. It's 16... 0.5 gigabytes, right? Okay. So, here's what you do. Go to this folder, and then click right here in the empty spot. All right, perfect. You're going to need this URL. So, Control-C to copy that. And what I recommend you do now is, like, open up Notepad or word or something because you, you're going to need to paste that somewhere so since i have word open i'm just going to paste that in there now that's the original location right so let me bring up another explorer window here we go and let me go to my m drive which is my new ssd hard drive okay so i'm going to go into the apps folder and this is where i want to move um the Rockstar Games folder too. So let me just back out one. Now, remember I'm on a C drive and I'm gonna copy this folder. Actually, I'm gonna cut 
this folder because copying it will retain the files on that hard drive cut and pasting it to the new hard drive will move the folder and that's what i want to do i want to move it so i hit cut now i go to my m drive right where i want to put it and i decided to put it in a subfolder called apps and now i'll just click paste it says you need to provide admission permission to move the folder and i'll click continue okay so now it's going to move this 16.5 gigabyte game from one hard drive to the next okay so the folder moved over from the c drive to my m drive you just verify yep 16.5 gigabytes okay so now we have to actually create the link otherwise the game will not work so let me go back to this window and oh there's one more thing i have to do so you know how we went into the rockstar games folder on the c drive let's go do that on the next drive so i'm inside the folder now click in the empty spot now grab this folder control c paste it into word there we go control v okay so now i will create the link so mk link space slash d so for, so let me copy this first and oh what i forgot to mention this because there's a space between rockstar and games you have to put quotes so let me put those quotes first and basically now we just have to put both of these folder names um, inside here so control c to copy that now to paste into here you just can't right click oh actually you can interesting space let me go back here copy control c go back here click on a window to make it active right click paste now what you should see happen when i hit enter is something will jump up over here okay because it's going to create the rockstar folder link symbolic link so i'm going to hit enter and there you go it popped up right here so that's how you do it folks that's how you create a symbolic link and it's an easy way to basically free up some space on a hard drive especially if you got another hard drive without the hassle of uninstalling and reinstalling like all my friends said so all right guys if you're interested in getting insider tips on any of the topics you see here make sure you check out my channel. I have more than 7 million happy viewers on YouTube. And I'm sure you can find at least one more video on my channel that will show you something so awesome, you wouldn't want to miss any of my future videos. And by the way, as of this recording, my best money saving tip so far is the $13,000 free car engine video. So make sure you watch that one if you haven't already and become a subscriber if you haven't already. Now, thanks for watching. Remember, I'm the proven helper and you've just been helped.